Well, hey there, guys. My name is Ed, and today I'm back with a brand new toy haul video. I got some new stuff. I got a whole box of just vintage goodies. There's 90s toys in here, 70s toys, and some 80s toys. So I got lots of stuff to show you, and even a piece that came in all the way from Japan. Let's start off with something new. These plunderlings were sent in from America and they look pretty awesome. In my opinion, any toy that needs to be encased in a crate-like thing, you know, like Boglins or Street Sharks, stuff like that, is, is a good thing. And um, what kind of attracted me to these before was that they always have like some sort of a wink to the past. Like, they, they kind of look like that 90s or, or 80s toy feel. At, at least that's what, you know, the accessories do to these type of toys. Um, and obviously they kind of look like a gremlin to me. So that's one thing I really like about them. Let's open them up and see what they look like on the inside. So here we have one of the plunderlings, a little, a little bit of a close up, and here we have the translucent one. Uh, all of them come with, you know, extra heads and some accessories, but we're going to open it up. Here's a little look at the crate. So this is the Drench Swamp. Got the top, the bottom. And over here we have, ooh, this for ages eight and up. The Berserker Spurt. Nice, cool. So here we got the first one out. You also get some extra ears to put on the boxes over here. And then, you know, the box has ears. Uh, they do mention on the inside over here that this is constructed and hand painted with great care and to be careful uh, loosening the joints after unboxing. You need to apply some heat with a hair dryer and uh, they hope that it will bring lots of joy playing with this thing. Find out all the other information on www.plunderlinks.com. Okay, so here's the first look at Drench Swamp. Um, he comes with the hands that you can't really put anything into uh, this you know regular head is on him let's see what kind of movement we can make this little guy do we got articulation on the legs one point over here another couple points I don't want to break it oh yeah so that stuff moves around obviously the legs like this now we can really bend those knees, and uh, then you have the hand that swivels around. As an extra, it has an extra articulation point as well as the elbow and the shoulder. Ooh, even uh, the torso turns around. Obviously, the head. Let's put a new head and some new hands on this guy. There we go, now he's got his new face on, he's got his trident that he came with. That's not all we have, we also have this guy right here. Got the Berserker Spurt somewhere in here again. Extra heads, extra hands. And this guy came with some more stuff. Again, you have the ears muffled away and there seems to be a little extra thingy in here some extra hinges for, for something. Uh, I'm not sure what that's used for yet, but we will find out, I guess. Uh, I guess it's to pop on the back over here. Again, he comes with the same points of articulation. And there we go. We got his little thingy on the back. Let's change around the hands so he can actually hold something. So we pop the spear in the back. He's got this cool helmet and a shell. Yeah, that's that's what these guys look like, these plunderlings. Just to compare them, here's Ultimate Toxie. And as you can see, uh, they're a little bit smaller, but uh, they kind of like share the same articulation features. And then I got my first Japan exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy in true in through the mail uh, this is something <laughs> uh, I actually made a video on like what the worst um, playmates action figures were in the 
original TMNT line, and the Super Mutants, which is kind of like what this guy is also based off, off of the Japanese manga series. Uh, this is the Turtle Saint, or, you know, a Leonardo, uh, that I'm unaware of, like, the complete story behind it, but I, I guess they kind of, like, combine into a Megazord, or, you know, like, like, Voltron, like, multiple lines into one big one, and that's when you get this guy over here, the Turtle Saint, so this is obviously a Leonardo, or at least that's what it looks like, like a Leonardo. Over here you have the other Super Mutants. I've been wanting to put this guy together. As you can see on the back, like, it, it looks more like something of the Mutations line, so really excited to see how this pans out. Okay guys, it's time to open up the Super Turtles Saint. Yeah, Playmates, got my two pizza points right here hopefully I can uh, get that battle scene thing <laughs> uh, saved up and order it they still have some leftover at playmates in Tokyo or wherever they have their little pot nice nice cool cool box art uh, on, on this Japanese stuff would you look at that that looks freaking awesome I love it love it already so I guess this is some sort of uh, flying thing for the back well, we're, we're gonna put it together so yeah we'll, we'll see over here we have I guess the front and the back there's multiple things you can come loose like that he's got this stuff opening up this is the first time I'm seeing this toy so really not sure how this is supposed to work his joints are very tight right now so uh, almost did you hear that <laughs> that was pretty crazy I, I i guess this opens up here we have the manual in japanese maybe there's pictures on here so yeah those are definitely some wings that's the ooh. The darkness age is over. Uh, that shredder is looking freaking awesome over here. Um, right, here we have some more turtle from this catalog. These are like the super mutants that that we kind of got, but without like this extra mutation feature. Uh, and over here is a shredder. It looks pretty epic. Oh, here we go. Here we got the manual. This looks like a Transformers kind of manual thingy. <laughs> so what we're trying to do is create him like this. Um, and then the extra mutation is when you add this thing over here. So there's three ways to create this guy over here. We have the Super Turtle Saint. And yeah, something like this where he is the Turtle Saint. Uh, Obviously, he also has his, his big giant weapon, but I can't get it out with one hand. And uh, he comes with a red mutagen uh, ooze canister. Yeah. So it really is like, you know, the, what is it, 91 mutations? <laughs> you pop this to the back over here and out flips. And out flips in our turtle head. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, looks hilarious. Uh, let's let's give him some of this stuff so it can actually look normal. <laughs> there we have him. <laughs> this looks so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, turtle thing. Uh, a true, a true hidden masterpiece in the Japan exclusive Playmates original toy line <laughs> awesome now I just gotta get you know the shredder because it looks cool as well and then we got this big box right here filled with vintage goodies from my vintage connection who's always looking to get rid of some stuff here's a little sneak peek but I also picked up some big boxes I picked up the box for the Thundercats Thunder Tank yeah, I've been eyeing this one for a really, really long time. This is not by LJN, but by Rainbow, but by Rainbow Toys uh, out of the United Kingdom. On the back, it's got, I guess, the same thing, like an overview of the good guys, the bad guys. You got 
that terrific role-playing sword right there. This cool dude that's pretty sought after and some more vehicles. Um, box isn't in you know super condition but uh, it'll do for my collection. So you can see I got the fist panda right here and uh, been meaning to add this one to it. I already have a complete uh, thunder tank so yeah I'm, I'm pretty glad about picking up just a box for this because getting complete is kind of pricey. This is the Bucky O'Hare Tote Kroger and it's awesome. It looks brand new. I think this thing just came out of a, out of a toy store shelf. This thing is brand new. Um, it's, it's got a little bit of wear here and it's missing one of the sealed stickers but on the inside it's still sealed <laughs> so it hasn't even been put together now I already have a tow croaker uh, complete and yeah this is just a brand new one there's a new sticker sheet in there you got the manual to put all this together but no one has ever attempted it so I'm, I'm gonna keep it this way for now and then we have the box, I might have to turn around the camera to see some of this stuff, but uh, let's grab some big things in here. We got a turtle plushie. Uh, I already have Raph of, of this plushie type Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. Um, there's nothing too crazy about this, I guess. It's, it's official. It is official Playmates Mirage Studios out of 89. Awesome. And then there was also this little one who has like a little Santa dress up thing going on. I think he's supposed to come with a hat, but he doesn't have that anymore. But uh, yeah, I never see this. So I was like, yeah, I'll definitely grab that. And right before we show you the contents of this very special box, I need to remind you guys that this Wednesday, in two days, we're going to be uh, doing a live stream interview with the co-creator of Street Sharks, Joe. He's going to be answering some questions. He's worked for Mattel for a long time. Uh, he is the co-creator of Street Sharks, so it's going to be freaking amazing. Um, definitely tune into the live chat. And if you can't make it, then uh, obviously be sure to watch it uh, at a later time. Now time to go inside the box. Oh yeah, here it is, the big box filled with stuff. Let's grab some stuff out first. Okay, uh, first some paperwork. These are some Beast Wars Transformers. I actually didn't get this for my vintage guy, but I bought this online on like an offer up thing. In there you have this eagle, the elephant, and this lion, and they combine into one thing. I actually used to have this combiner uh, as a kid, so that's why I kind of wanted it back, but I don't even think as a kid I, I was able to get this guy together. Uh, also in the lock came this one who is incomplete because he's missing the front, but uh, a shark. At least I think it's a shark. It's probably a shark, right? It's probably a shark. And then I got some glasses. I got these Super Mario World glasses, which are really cool. Uh, always love collecting old Nintendo stuff. Uh, I guess this was part of like a mustard thing uh, uh, yeah Amora uh, I guess there used to be mustard in here and then at the end you would have like a cool drinking glass Super Mario World uh, branded so that's what these things are though I guess this thing is technically Super Mario Land next up I got a couple visionary toys unfortunately missing most of the accessories but uh, so this guy does have the hologram still working and uh, it is there this one just doesn't have that that part on there anymore um, yeah first visionaries I ever encountered so I was like yeah I'll, I'll take a moment and pop them up on the oddity shelf uh, would actually love to find more of these I think it's a very interesting toy line and next up I actually bought a couple of Star Wars figures yeah <laughs> I've been trying to collect the vintage line so we got the G G Morian guard uh, guy thing. Uh, we got Admiral Akbar. Got Admiral Akbar, who I think was a mail away exclusive at one point. Then after a while, he wasn't so exclusive anymore. We got a Princess Leia with the vinyl cape. No other extra accessories. In pretty good shape, actually. So, yeah, first Leia for the collection. 
Then I got Squid Face, who is missing a couple accessories. Uh, there's supposed to be another clock coming down here, and he has some sort of a weapon or something. But overall, he's got, you know, this piece right here and this clot. So, yeah. What mainly attracted me to this guy is because he looks so pretty cool. He's got that Cthulhu vibe going on for him. Yeah, I, I like monsters. Monsters are cool. And then, obviously, I can't have a Star Wars collection without a Stormtrooper, right? So, I have to grab this one. I think he comes with a blaster. Yeah, he's got a blaster right here. So, that's my Stormtrooper. Pretty glad. Uh, five new Star Wars figures for the collection. Then I obviously picked up some more Mario merchandising. I'm actually not sure what these are. Uh, I don't think I would have some sort of a a date or, or something written below, but I'm not sure if these are official, but they look really cool actually. So uh, Super Mario 3, Mario in the Tanuki suit, and this guy's just all sorts of happy. So yeah, that's going on the Mario shelf. Got two more things, things I usually don't pick up. This is Zoids, so I don't have anything Zoids related, and I was just like, I'm just gonna grab one of these, because they're in box. Uh, so this is a Zoids by Tomy, Mad Monsters Machine. Mad Monster Machine. New, it said back then. Uh, just put Zoid together and wind him up to watch him start. So, yeah. I guess here are multiple Zoids you can kind of collect. Um, I'm not sure if I still have to piece this guy together, but uh, I, I think I do, because <laughs> he's like in multiple pieces in here. So yeah, uh, might be a fun project to do on a rainy day, but not today. Uh, anyways, really cool, I just wanted to add one of these inbox to the collection. Then we have a Micronauts figure. This guy is the Micronauts Force Commander, the leader of the mighty Magno-powered Micronauts. So let's open up this baggie right here and see what he looks like. Uh, the box has definitely seen some better days, but uh, all good. Here's some stuff you can uh, assemble him as and uh, yeah I guess on the inside we'll see more baggies of stuff how to put them together Ooh, store promo it's always nice here's you know bits and pieces of him <laughs> how we're gonna put them together yeah. same story as with Zoids I just wanted one box item to pop into the collection and use as a reference uh, for videos you never know when you, you need something to put next to another thing you know so yeah that's pretty much why i bought these uh very glad with the star wars stuff and uh yeah so yeah guys that was all the stuff i had to my collection please leave down in the comments below what you added to your collection this week or this month uh it can be anything new old finish if you found that last accessory for a toy you've had for the longest time it would be amazing to hear those stories definitely tune in on wednesday to the live stream interview I'm doing with Joe Galliani, one of the co-creators of Street Sharks. I'd like to thank all of my supporters on Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to do more than just leave a like on the video, then you can always check out my Patreon. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.